Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing another fall haul. Before I get started, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on fragrance, beauty, self-care, and body care. If you're into that type of content, then please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you're notified when I write upload a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here with me today. And I appreciate all of the love and the support. With that said, let's go ahead and let's get started with today's haul. So I do have a little guest here today. She's actually on the other side of the camera, so you guys can't see her. But Penelope woke up from her nap. I have to get this video done today because I have a lot of things planned for my channel. And it's been a little bit hard to film lately. With my daughter being back to school, it just makes my schedule a little bit more complicated. I'm trying to just have one day for filming and just getting it out of the way. So I'm so sorry if you see me with the same outfit for multiple videos. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first fragrance that I'm going to talk about, I don't have the box for this one because I bought it from eBay. So I really wanted this one because it's my favorite one out of the ones that I have smelled from the flankers. And this is YSL's Black Opium Nuit Blanche. And I got the big bottle in this one. I got it for a pretty good deal. And this is, I believe this was limited edition. So I don't think you can find this in stores anymore. I'm going to read the main accords for this one. The main accords are electronic, sweet, vanilla, caramel, coffee, savory, warm, spicy, powdery, soft, spicy, and anise. And the top notes are rice, anise, and bourbon pepper. Middle notes are coffee, orange blossom, coriander, and peony. And the base notes are vanilla, milk, caramel, sandalwood, and white musk. I bought a travel size of this one from FragranceNet. Once I smelled it, I knew that I wanted the full size because it's just so beautiful. It is pretty much black opium. So black opium, you know that you get your coffee and you get your florals. This one is creamy. It's like tonic. The sweetness from the caramel in here, it is just gorgeous i'm gonna be using this one for fall as well i think i want to put this one in my tray for october it's just a smoother creamier black opium kind of like if black opium was your black coffee this is your cafe con leche type of thing it's just a little bit more smooth creamy like tonic sweet i feel like the creaminess in this one is just the best part of it and I'm so, so happy that I have a big bottle because it's, I think I like it more than the original. So I'll be updating you guys as I wear this one. This next one was recommended to me by one of you guys. And right now my mind is just so not there. So I don't remember, I don't remember the name of the person who recommended it to me, but I am going to put your comment because you were the one that told me about this one. You told me that you love girl of now just as much as i do and that if i love girl of now this was like a nice one to wear when the weather was a little bit hotter and you didn't want such a thick syrupy fragrance but it reminded her of girl of now and this is by armov and this is eternia here is the packaging i haven't really heard anyone talk about this on youtube it comes in here and you pull this apart. I'll give Penelope that. And then this is the box. I think that this bottle is just so awkward and the bottle is not it, but the scent is really nice. So here is the bottle. It reminds me of like a really big lighter or something because you flip this open. Like what? This reminds me of those lighters in the movies. Like in Hocus Pocus when he takes out his little lighter and he like lights the, the the fire alarm the sprinkler system you guys know what i'm talking about I summon the burning rain of death so let's go ahead and let's read the main accords so the main accords are vanilla citrus sweet almond aromatic powdery woody nutty warm spicy and amber top notes are bitter orange orange blossom and lemon Middle notes are almond, geranium, and rose, and the base note, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. And this one, this one is really nice. I like it a lot. 
Oh, that opening is, that bitter orange in the opening is not plain. It is sit, like a sharp citrus type of opening, almost like Dior Poison Girl. The opening is very similar to Dior Poison Girl. It's really nice. The almond is starting to peek through. It's sweet, it's nutty. Oh, this is beautiful. If you like all of the type of fragrances that I rave about when I let you guys know that I love almond, that I love sweet scents, vanilla, this is such a good one. So thank you so much for recommending it to me because the more it dries down, the better it smells. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to see how it performs. But this one, I can see it working pretty much year round and in fall time, it's even, oh, this is like an almond cookie. This is so good. It's nutty, sweet, beautiful scent. And I believe it was pretty affordable. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I'm gonna be leaving it in the links down below like I always do. The bottle is not the prettiest, but the scent inside, is so worth it. All right, next I'm gonna be talking about a fragrance that was sent over to me and when I received this email, this was around the time that I got sick and my husband got sick and everyone was sick in the house. And I remember getting this email and I just couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I was just so, just in shock that they reached out to me. You guys, Fragrance Dubois reached out to me and they wanted to send me a fragrance so they went ahead and they let me pick a fragrance of my choice they also sent me a discovery kit i do want to do a video going over the discovery kit with you guys let me know if you guys would like that just giving you guys my thoughts on these because there are 10 in here so that is very helpful since their fragrances are you know they're very pricey and if i can help by giving a description of them before you place an order i think that that is amazing so the one that i went with first of all look at this packaging how beautiful is this i went ahead and did my research before even replying to them i wanted to ask for something that i knew was easy for me to like i don't have too many fragrances with oud and their fragrances have oud in them so once you open the top you have another box and this is made out of like velvet super soft and beautiful with their plaque here and when you open it this is how the fragrance is inside the presentation is just beautiful the bottle is beautiful and I chose Santal Complet. This is just, I was mind blown. And right off the bat, I will tell you that I am completely head over heels in love with the fragrance that I chose. Here is the bottle. I think it is just beautiful. The cap is very heavy, it's weighted super luxurious feeling and i am just so excited to have this in my collection i feel like this one can be worn year round this is such a beautiful fragrance let's go ahead and let's go over the main accords for this one right so the main accords for this one is powdery vanilla woody coconut sweet amber musky warm spicy citrus and violet top note are coconut and lemon middle notes are violet and black pepper and the base notes are sandalwood vanilla amber and musk and you guys i am gonna do a more in-depth review of this so i'm not gonna talk too much about it but this is stunning this to me is sexy it's simple yet complex at the same time it's smooth it feels luxurious It's so good. It's very unique. I don't have anything that smells like this. I need to wear this for an entire day so that I can give you a better review. I did want to feature this one in this video because I was just so excited. I just wanted to include it in the haul. Thank you so much to Fragrance Dubois for sending this to me. It is just, I appreciate it so, so much. And i'm super super excited to have this in my collection the next fragrance and the last one that i am going to be talking about 
is Carolina Herrera, good girl. This is the Legere version. And I got it in the one fluid ounce. Here is the gorgeous bottle. This is just stunning. I think I like this one and the Supreme bottle the best. I just, it's so beautiful. It goes from like a really dark black color down into like a blue and then clear at the bottom. The main accords for this fragrance are sweet, lictonic, white floral, woody, amber, citrus, warm, spicy, yellow floral, and vanilla. Top notes are ylang ylang, mandarin, orange, lemon, bergamot, Middle notes are jasmine, tuberose, orange blossom, Bulgarian rose, and the base notes are dulce de leche, tonka bean, praline, cinnamon, sandalwood, cashmere wood, amber, musk, patchouli, and cedar. And I own Good Girl Supreme, and I own Very Good Girl, which is sitting in the drawer, not getting used. I'm trying to wait until it cools down a little bit to see if I like that one with cooler weather, because I really didn't like that one when I tried it out. So this one, Oh, this one is gorgeous. This one is super sexy. It's a little hard for me to pick out the notes. I feel like it's pretty well blended and the opening is probably the most where you can pick out the top notes. Once it starts drying down, I am getting a bit of that cinnamon, which I love. And this is just perfect for fall. I think that I'm going to be using this one a lot for fall. It is sexy, it is date night appropriate. This is not something that I would wear every day. It's not something that I would wear like on a casual day. This is definitely sexy vibes. Date night, trying to pretty much grab someone's attention. Not in a good girl way because these are called good girl but i feel like they're definitely sexy like very sexy and bad girl vibes i need to wear this one for a full day to really gather my thoughts on it to make sure that it's not going to cause a headache or bother me all right so that is going to be it for today's haul i hope that you guys enjoyed it Comment down below if you have any of these fragrances and how do you like them. Can't wait to hear from you in the comments section. Penelope is starting to get pretty loud, so it's time to end this video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video.